Today, we are taking a special look at the very first Apple Silicon-based Mac. Apple's Developer Transition Kit is a custom Mac Mini that was offered up to registered developers to test their apps on Apple Silicon. What you're seeing today won't be made commercially available, but there will be similarities to what ultimately starts shipping at the end of 2020. The Developer Kit arrives in a specially labeled Mac Mini box with Developer Transition Kit emblazoned on the side. Once we get to the Mac inside, we see what looks like a run-of-the-mill Space Gray Mac Mini, but of course it isn't. This Mac Mini is outfitted with Apple's A12Z processor, which was originally designed for the 2018 iPad Pro and then reused with the 2020 iPad Pro. The kit is running an early build of macOS Big Sur, Apple's upcoming Mac operating system that will be the first to support Apple's own silicon. The developer transition kit has two USB 3.1 Type-C ports, two USB 3 Type-A ports, HDMI 2.0, and Gigabit Ethernet. We're not concerned about the lack of Thunderbolt 3. Apple A12Z system on a chip doesn't have Thunderbolt 3 support, and we expect shipping Apple Silicon Macs to either have a Thunderbolt 3 controller or support for USB 4, which essentially contains the Thunderbolt 3 protocol. Beyond the A12Z processor, the developer kit also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD. Once the developer kit Mac Mini was up and running, we started looking at the operating system. We've been testing macOS Big Sur, so we knew what to expect there, but it was still great to see how solid the performance was moving throughout the operating system. To get more specific on performance, let's take a look at Geekbench 5 results. Right now, with the Rosetta 2 translation of the Benchmark Suite, the developer kit with the A12Z Bionic chip pulls down a score of about 800 for the single-core benchmark and around 2600 for the multi-core tests. To compare, in the Core i3 Mac Mini, we saw Geekbench results of 949 for the single-core tests and 3197 for the multi-core test. Benchmarks for the same A12Z Bionic in the iPad Pro put it at 1,118 points for single-core tests and 4,625 from multi-core. The Geekbench numbers don't really tell the full performance story, but they are representative of how fast Intel software will run without an Apple Silicon version. If you're running a 2013 Mac Mini or 2012 iMac, this developer kit is faster than your machine is, and it will only get faster as the software evolves and the hardware ships. While this specialized Mac Mini is intended solely for developers to dip their toes in the Apple Silicon water, consumers won't be that far behind. Apple says that it will ship its first Apple Silicon in Macs by the end of 2020. Ming-Chi Kuo posits that this first Mac will be a replacement of the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Apple Silicon and Macs will be a huge step forward and will afford users a vast array of enhancements. User benefits include better performance while being more power efficient, better video editing performance, neural engine, secure enclave, and more. With the first Apple Silicon Mac coming the end of this year, Apple says it will take two years to fully move its Mac line to its own processors, about the same amount of time it took to migrate the entire product line from the 68K to PowerPC and PowerPC to Intel.